good morning you guys happy wednesday <coughs> it's wednesday it's wednesday hey ho hey ho hey ho hump day wednesday <sighs> it's wednesday it's wednesday it's wednesday Ah, y'all, it is 7.19 a.m., April 5th. Today is Friday for me. I'm so sad. Damn, that boy bring me mail on his bills. Sorry, I'll just check it real quick. So I hope you guys slept well last night. I had a hard time sleeping. I know y'all tired of hearing that, but I'm just being honest. I was hot. Like I don't know why. I do know why it's hot. Because people got the heat on. People got the heat on. And damn heat rises up. And smokes me out it is really hot man like I have the fan on right now in the window it's just too hot for me it's, it's uncomfortable it's that type of hot when it's uncomfortable it's the type of hot when you feel humidity you know and then I had the damn cat y'all last night I think I kicked him on the floor about four or five times because he kept playing with my feet and legs. I'm like, Topo, move, stop. And, you know, next thing you know, he wrapping around my legs, nibbling on my feet. I'm like, oh, my God. So then I kick him down, but my feet hanging over. So now he reaching up doing this. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Go find something to do. Leave me be. <laughs> Y'all made my coffee a little different today because I can't deal with that. That sugar-free creamer is just horrible tasting, the aftertaste. So what I did was I made my coffee halfway through. I put whipped cream in there and stirred it up and then finished putting the coffee. Um, I did have some half and half in there, um, some individual ones. So I think I put maybe four in here. So hopefully that'll make a difference. I guess the half and half for me is just the color. It don't it don't taste bad at all. You don't you don't taste any sweet, uh, which is what I need. But still, it's not bad with the uh, whipped cream. I just can't that aftertaste from the creamer. Like when you first taste it, it's so good. It's, it's right there. But then that aftertaste, like ha ha, you know, craziness. Anyway, guys, um, last night I watched Dungeons and Dragons. It was it was cute. It was it was cute. It was pretty good. Um, it wasn't like oh my god, go watch it. This is really great. Oh, nothing like that. But um, it was good. It was good. Jeremiah, that meat is really good. Yep, that meat is really good. Just put put it over your rice. It was really good. You might have to add water if it's too too much seasoning. Yeah, I tried to do my hair last night, as y'all can see. Epic fail. It's so damaged. Like, I don't even realize how it got this damaged. Like, I haven't been doing anything to it. Like, it never fails. It'll grow really nice and pretty and long. And then it starts shedding and breaking off. And uh, I had to cut the ends, the split ends. And all up here was long. is now short. Like... It may, I, I guess me constantly trying to get rid of the snow. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm just over it, though. 
really am. You know, I'm going to do the best I can for the sake of the video. <laughs> and whenever I have to go out, um, like today, I do have to go out and donate. Uh, hopefully, with no problems, get there and back. Um, I know I have to stop at the store. I just can't remember for what. <coughs> <coughs> Praying the day go by fast. I do have a meeting this afternoon to get ready for our our team huddle next week Wednesday. Um, I have to do some meeting. Um, I don't. I did not have to be the moderator, but I do have to. Um, I guess certain slides will be for me to read. Uh, my eyes are better. They still itch like hell. Heck. I took the contacts out last night. Um, I washed my hair, I blow dried my hair. This morning I got up and I just put a little heat from the flat iron. I tried to flat iron it, but you know, I don't part, I don't do all of that. You know, I just don't have the time or the patience. Um, that's what it was. When Jeremiah walked by, I remember it. Yesterday I did a whole video for y'all. I was talking to Jeremiah about his hair, everything, and then when I um, got ready to go over the video, it was it was no video. Uh, I think I accidentally deleted it, thinking it was uh, another video. Anyway, I need to stop doing that, and I wasn't able to retrieve it. Like I would have to go through the trash, da da da, da. and I just got frustrated with doing that because. I just didn't feel like it, I guess. And then again, it's a possibility that I never even recorded the video because even when I um, sent stuff to the trash and I went back, it wasn't dated for yesterday's date, the date that I sent it. Then normally it is. So I was just like, I give up. Whatever. Yeah, I'm constantly losing nails. I guess because my hands are always in water. Just realized um, my phone is on silence, and uh, I'm just seeing I have a message. I was from my dad. Yeah, I was just checking to see how he was doing. He said they fighting COVID, man. I'm definitely praying for him. Oh my God! And it got dark again, y'all. Yesterday, y'all, I was sitting there working, and it was really nice and bright out. And all of a sudden, I'm like, it even got black. I mean, black, dark, like nighttime. And I'm like, what just happened? I'm sitting at my desk, and I'm looking out the window, and I'm watching it go from bright to dark. And so I, and then it looked like it was a little orangey. So then I um, text. I mean, I emailed my coworkers. I was like, oh, my God, you know, it's completely black out here. And just as I pressed in, everything shut down. <laughs> everything shut down. Power went off for just a moment. Um, everything came right back up except my computer and the cable. So I had to wait, you know, for it to, you know, reset or whatever um, before I could finally log back in. And that's what's happening now. It was bright and it didn't got look. Imagine you a moment ago it was like that screen. Look at it. And I feel a nice little breeze, but it ain't no and it ain't strong. It's just I'm still hot. So it must be about to pour down. Wow. Well, I finally logged back up. Uh, another one of the co-workers said the same thing. Her power went out. She was in the process of logging um, back up. Everything didn't come back up. <coughs> I've been listening to storms throughout the night. You know, thunder throughout the night, but nothing heavy. Um, and then my supervisor emailed that was um, sending everyone a message saying, um, there's storms and things, so everyone be safe, you know, things like that. Yeah, so, yeah, Friday. Today's Friday for me, y'all. <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> so I'm going to act like it's Friday. When is Wednesday? But for me, it's Friday. Because I'm off. I'm off tomorrow. Thursday, I'm off Friday. And I'm off Monday for my birthday. For my birthday. It's going to be my birthday weekend. And I'm not doing nothing. Just getting rest. Just chilling out. Look, now the sun trying to come up a little bit. So it looks like it's gonna do that like yesterday. But you can see the clouds, it's so dark, they moving. So it looks like it's gonna be dark, be light, be dark, be light. You know, I guess depending on how the storm is moving. Um But yeah guys, I should have took yesterday. I mean I should have took today too, but I wasn't thinking. Um but it's fine. It's fine, you know. Um it's fine. Just hopefully the day will go by fast, like these these phones have been off the chain and when I tell y'all it's just been dragging you know it's like why are you just the time just not moving is what it feel like to me you know um, but other than that it hasn't been you know crazy crazy bad or nothing like that um, Ooh, I did read some more psalms yesterday. Well, early this morning because I was up, I couldn't sleep. Um, I kept just getting up throughout the night, as always. Like I said, with the cat messing around my feet. Uh, it's, I'm looking at the wind blowing, and I think it's because I got the fan in the window blowing stuff around. But ain't no, ain't no, I'm not feeling no heat. <laughs> Man. I'm not feeling the heat. 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 I mean, no. Dang it, that's backwards. I meant to say I'm not feeling the cool breeze. <laughs> I'm not feeling the breeze. I'm not feeling the breeze. That's what I was trying to say. I only feel the heat. Oh. Yeah. I'm starting to just ramble now, y'all. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this morning's video out. Um, is this weather is tripping me out. Um, you guys, make sure you say your prayers. Not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but all our brothers and sisters in Christ out there going through things, struggling, uh, concerns, I mean, just whatever, food, bills, you know, man, everybody's going through something. You know, so somebody's going through something, whether they care to admit it or not. Um, and it's okay. Let's just say a prayer. Let's be kind. Let's treat people the way we would expect to be treated or better. And expect great things. Great things to happen to you, through you, and for you. It's coming. Um, I made dinner yesterday. I made the um, pulled pork. Um, and rice. I wanted mashed potatoes, but then I realized I didn't have a lot of potatoes in there. Um, macaroni, but then I realized there was no milk. So, rice it was. Um, and as y'all can tell, I'm not really a fan, fan of rice. Unless it's fried rice or something like that. But other than that, I'm just not a person that just going, hey, I'm going to have rice today. No, that ain't me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I made uh, the pulled pork. It was really good. I liked the way I um, seasoned it. It was really good. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. When I do my videos, sometimes y'all hear Jeremiah TV because his TV is loud. The bass or something. I don't know. But when he opens the door, when you open the door, you can hear it. Um... But you can while well, I'm doing my video, it's recorded. It's pick up your TV. So shut up. <laughs> Turn the light back out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he always got some smack. <laughs> always got some smack to talk. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now the sun is trying to. I don't know, y'all probably can't tell, but it's trying to a little bit come up. It's misty like. Mask me that movie reminds me of reminds me of that movie called Fog. 
with all the people stuck in that grocery store. <laughs> and in the end, the father had to kill his kid. And all he had to do was wait a little bit. He ended up, all the ones that got out and was in the car, um, the lady, his child, and I think there was somebody else. He ended up killing them and was about to kill himself, but I think the, there was no bullets or something happened. And um, just as he was sitting there, I think as he was about to pull the trigger, I forget that's when help arrived. Now, if they had a just, if he had a just held out a little bit longer, they would have all been saved. And if I remember correctly, there was some sort of people complained, I guess had concerns about the ending of that movie back then because you know to show for us to know that this man killed his kid you know just put a gun and boom 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 you know in his mind he's doing the right thing um but you know i think they should have fought should have held out you know if something's gonna happen it's gonna happen um you figure oh let me uh, to ease the pain kill them but you also took away their hope you know what I'm saying you took away their possible chance of survival you know you took away you don't know what God had in store what God had planned um, regardless of how rough and hard the times are he was right there at the end to see you through it um, we, you went through what you had to go through yes yes you did it can't do nothing but make you stronger um, yes you went through it yes it sucked yes you watched people die and, da -da 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 and all this but at the end right you didn't even give God that chance you took like we said God gives us our own uh, we can make our own decisions our own free will and his with his will and their agreement they chose it in their lives and they didn't even have to because help was right there and I get it you know when times feel darkest and, and, and when you need the most help you don't know which or direction or who or how it's coming you know you do tend to make put piss poor decisions you know and you, you usually have the right usually have good intentions um, but yeah it, it was a little bit of controversy behind that ending um, I think they should have had two an alternate ending um, like a lot of movies that I watch um, I think that they you know would have been better off with an alternate ending um, because people there's so much investment in watching the show so much investment in what's going to happen you know and, and so many people have their speculations um, I think it only makes sense to do alternate endings you know the ending you chose and, and then an, another ending especially when you have <coughs> like different K-dramas and things like that and I've mentioned that before um, like the Reply to Me series I always felt that there should have been alternate endings now the very first one the very first one I watched there shouldn't have been an alternate ending the ending was what it should have been now, and I like the way they did the ending. They explained everything, so on and so forth. The second one, I didn't care too much. Um, I wasn't, I didn't care too much for the, the main character, um, the girl. Um, I did like the ending as far as who she chose. I do think there should have been an alternate ending in that one to see how it would have been if she chose the other guy. <coughs> And I do like that they explained um, what happened later. Now, in the last one, which I think was the best one, they did not have an alternate ending, but they should have. Now, this is the one that they really should have had a different ending, um, an alternate ending, because I think they messed up. I think in reality... They meant to choose the other guy. 
that's kind of how the storyline was was going, right? Even in the end, when she's you know communicating and talking about stuff, um, her conversation with this guy because they didn't reveal who he was yet would have would lead you to believe, and his demeanor leads you to believe it was the ending that everyone thought it would be, but in actuality, it was not. Which honestly didn't make sense. So that tells me, um, because they began to rush the ending, and it tells me they didn't think it through. And um, yeah, I, I think I don't get me wrong. I love who she chose, um, but I think they should have had an alternate ending um, because either one of them would have been great. And I think the fact that they all still got along and how they continued to get along was great. But what I don't like is they did not. Um, let you know what happened to the one she didn't choose. They didn't let you know, you know, did he get married at some point? You know, who he was with? Um, none of them really. Like, they, you know, just them two. Like, the main, the two uh, girls, the two, like, they let you know one got married, da da da. da. That was it. They didn't really. I just think they could have did better on the ending. So I'm really, really hoping and praying they come out with another reply to me. Um, it's been some gaps in between for sure, but I don't think it's ever been this long before they came out with another one. Um, and I liked how they tied the second one in with the third one. You know, they tied it in there. Um, not with the first one, but with the second one. They actually kind of tied in um, what happened, some stuff that happened in the second one made sense in the third one. So that the, the timelines made sense. So yeah, that was good. I, I really liked it. As a matter of fact, the first one was Reply to Me 1997. The second one was Reply to Me 94. Four. The third one was 98. Yeah. So that's weird how they was able to mix one with the other. Unless I got the timelines wrong. But anyway, it was really good. Yep, it's starting to get bright again. Brighter. See, can y'all tell? I don't know if y'all can tell, but it really is getting brighter. In a minute, it'll probably be really bright. But anyway, guys, yeah, um, that's that. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I didn't show y'all Chopper. Excuse my bills there. I ripped up. Hey, Chopper, good morning. You finished eating? You listening to that rainfall. Chopper, dude. <laughs> He's sitting there, y'all. He listening to the rain. It's catching his attention because he's like, what, is, you know, um, <clears throat> and then he hear it in the kitchen too, the window in the kitchen. So he keep looking around like, <clears throat> what is that? He just wanted to eat. Look at him, pee. You know what I like about him is some cats be here, 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 here in the morning for you to feed them all in your face. He not like that. He don't whine at all. Um, he will annoy you by getting all up in your face around your feet while you're walking but that's it you know he's not all around that bowl he will go to the bowl he will wait on you he will get a little aggravated look back at you but then you do whatever you're doing he'll go and sit down and be like all right let me just wait because what can you do nothing but wait and uh yeah i like that about him I, he's not doing all that meow, meow, meow stuff so <laughs> he looked at me like what you talking about anyway yep the rain coming down now y'all can y'all hear it? A little bit of breeze um, coming through, but this is not much. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Have an amazing hump day, Wednesday, to each and every one of you. And I hope everyone that's feeling down feels better. God is good and I'm praying for you, okay? Talk to you later.
The sun has come out. <laughs> Y'all, really quick, I was just sitting here um, flipping through YouTube right quick while I was listening to this video. And y'all promise I'm gonna get these videos up for y'all. Um, probably tomorrow morning I'll, you know, take time to get them all up. But <laughs> do y'all remember General Hospital? <coughs> um, Tamara Hall show. This was five days ago. She was talking about General Hospital, um, the uh, reunion or something, um, celebration because they they still on and going strong. Y'all remember Sunny? He still looks good. I used to love me some Sonny. I don't know what y'all used to watch. But let me tell y'all what I used to watch faithfully back in the day growing up. And I'll never forget being at my grandma Peterson house on Harrison and watching. I used to watch One Life to Live, General Hospital. Those were my favorite shows. I think there was Days of Our Lives and loving or something like that but my favorite ones was one life to live and general hospital and then on the weekends i would faithfully watch wwf like man you couldn't tell me nothing i thought that stuff was for real uh the von eric brothers andre the giant like man i loved watching like faithfully I was up and prior to that I would get up like when I would be at home my dad on weekends um, I would get up and faithfully watch um, the Kung Fu movies with Bruce Lee and Godzilla all the Godzilla movies every single freaking every last one of them Godzilla, Gamera, um, Rodan all of those movies I watched uh, all the Kung Fu shows I watched and as well as um what's the dude it's another hero dun, 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 dun. i forget his name um but ultraman i used to watch ultraman so yeah and then as i got older it was of course uh power rangers so yeah i just thought i would ask and see what y'all used to watch um those were the shows back then when you look at them now they seem so old they seem like it was back in there as my grand my grandkids say the 19s oh <laughs> uh, it didn't seem like something from way way back when when you look at stuff like that now you be like did i watch that but y'all those were the shows um uh uh fred sanford um what else those were the shows that i faithfully had to watch like i had to watch um, you couldn't tell me nothing. Everybody can do their thing. That's what I got up and did. And then, when my shows went off, of course, you know, I went on it and joined in. Um, and the, the, day, the daytime shows, of course, you could only watch those when you were home from school or whatever. Because those came on Monday through Friday uh, in the afternoon. Uh, those were the daytime shows. Um, so, yeah, man, I, I just thought about that. I was like, wow. I used to freaking man that was my show that was my show and I had to say Sonny was man Sonny and um, so one like to live I believe is the one with Blair in it okay Blair was okay but I love the dude that played her husband oh I cannot remember his name but when you talk about handsome and he had a, I think he had a twin brother in the show. He ended up having a scar on his face. What is that man's name? I cannot remember. But when I tell you, that was a handsome ass man. Um, and then you had in General Hospital, aside from Sonny Handsome, but uh, what's the girl she do the talk show now? Um, what's her name? Kelly Ripper? I forget, but she does. She's the um, talk show host for Kelly Ripple Show. I think that's his name. I forget, but it's her. It's now her show, and she actually married her co-star, uh, Mateo. Mateo something. I forget their names because it's been so long. But man, when I tell y'all, I faithfully watched those shows. I truly honestly did comment down below let me know what shows y'all like back then um, and if you still watch them to this day right um, let me know talk to y'all later bye now hey guys I'm on my first break of the day it's 10 45 I'm a little late 
Man, when I tell y'all these phones are ringing, man, I'm trying to be chipper and just, hey, I think I'm calling it. But man, I'm praying these phones, like just, I'm pres I'm praying the work party, they just, just blink, blah, bye. For the rest of the day, just blink, 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 and it's over. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and they definitely not going to offer us leave early because these calls are, these phones are ringing. Like, I wouldn't have a job if they wasn't, but I tell y'all, I'm tired of It's Friday for me. It is Friday for me, y'all. I'm like excited at the same time, not. No, I ain't going to say not. What I mean by at the same time not is just the fact that the time is dragging. Seriously dragging, okay? Um, I'm in the room. I'm just looking out the window. It's so beautiful out here. The, the breeze is blowing. And as always, Washington is crazy busy. I see Jeremiah parked right out front here. I see the busyness. That's Jeremiah car right there, the um, Mercedes, the black one in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's a busy. The Washington is busy, but it ain't that crazy today. It's kind of quiet, to be honest. Normally, y'all cars be just flying down the street like. <laughs> um, but most people are probably at work, um, so hence the not so busy and quiet out here. Oh, but this air feels good. I just thought I would come in here and just take a moment um, to just just remove myself from answer the phone mode. <laughs> you know, sometimes you take a break. You don't really take a break. At least I don't. I don't really move from the spot. You know, I'll sit there and watch TV or something or YouTube. And that's really not a break. I need to move around. Especially when all you do is sit all day and get fat, you know. It's good to just get up and stretch. And sometimes I'll do that, just stand there and stretch or, or just stand there, period. Um, but, yeah, I figure let me just come in and just look out the window and see what's going on out here. Um, honestly, like where I am, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it can, it can be at times. Um, I just wish it was more space. Um, but other than that, it's not bad. Just waiting for them to send my um, money to my car so I can go ahead and pay a couple of bills. Of course, this check is short, you know, because I already um, used some of the money, um, you know, that rapid pay. So obviously, you don't get that back, it's gone. Um, so that makes your check short. Um, so I am going to stretch it and pay everything that I can with it. And, um, Leave it at that. I'm not gonna mess with it. You know, I will have to, I'm sure, um, to spot me. Um, so whatever deals I don't have enough to pay, I can use my spot me to kind of just, you know, pay something toward it to catch whatever I can't pay with my check itself because it's gonna be short. Um, and then that's it. I'm, I'm not going to do any, any rapid, you know, because that makes your check short, right? And if I do have to do rapid, maybe just a four, like maybe a few dollars, that's it. No more than a hundred because, again, you don't get that back, you know? And it makes your check short. And so the next check, um, I should be able to, you know, if I do what I'm supposed to do, that next check should be able to catch everything. Um, it's going to have to um, because the rest of the car insurance is due. Once I make this payment, which is going to be for something because we added another vehicle on there. Um, once that is um, paid, I will be, I won't have to pay car insurance until I think July, either June or July to get that few months in there free. Um, Ticket is going to be due. That's the middle of, Feb of April. My phone bill is due. So, like, everything is due right now. So, I uh, rent everything. So, I'm just going to pay what I can. And I'm not going to worry about the rest. Um, 
yeah, but I'm going to definitely get it all done. And then, too, when I go donate, you know, uh, the little extra um, from that, I will also use um, to pick up, you know, whatever extra that needs to be paid. Um, so, yeah. Right now, I'm just... Whew, just enjoying this moment, y'all. <laughs> like I said, I'm sitting here right in front of the window so that cool breeze is, I'm getting that breeze is good you know because I am hot you know um, so that breeze really feels good because the heat can sometimes be a bit much like Caribbean at least you know, but you can feel heat but it's not coming from the radiator sometimes I can still feel the heat uh, in this case it's completely I don't feel no heat from the radiator just heat coming up somebody has to heat up somebody cold <laughs> um, but yeah guys it's so beautiful out please make sure you get out and enjoy the day um, go for a walk if you can open the window and hang your head out you know if that's all you can do do that smell the fresh air if it's thing put a mask on just you know um, oh my eyes are burning um, just get out if you can okay uh, I think maybe on my lunch break I'm gonna take the garbage down and um, move my car um, from I'm gonna put my car in the front um, that way or just I don't know I might just leave it where it is um, and uh, just take the garbage down and just walk around a little bit just get some fresh air um, and then if I change my mind that's no problem when the day is over and I go to donate, um, obviously I'll take the doctor's down with them, you know. Um, yeah, and that's it, you guys. I really want to get some more candles. Um, I know at Walmart, I want to get the big ones because they last longer. And, like, I like to light my candles and just let it burn all day. Um, I should turn them off at night. That's what I really have to start doing. So that I don't go through them so fast. Because y'all know when I used to work at assisted living. That's the, I was a concierge. And the first thing I did when I came in in the morning. Okay. We had beautiful flowers on the front. On the desk. Which is what I want to do. I want to you know start getting some. even Especially if they're not real. I prefer real. I mean fake. Because I can never take care of the real ones. The only reason why the ones on my desk at work was taken care of. Because they wasn't me taking care of them. That's the only reason why they live. And they were beautiful. I mean, beautiful, all different types of flowers. I remember I used to send my mom, like, which one, what is this? Like, they were beautiful. And some of them just smell like heaven. Okay, like, if heaven had a smell, I think some of those flowers would be heaven. Um, so I would come in in the morning, the flowers would be on the desk, and I would set up. And so what I would do is I would go in the back and get my, you know, um, cart, and I would stock up in front of me, and I would put out the fruits. Um, I would get the popcorn machine going because they wanted to display that aroma of popcorn in the morning. Um, I would um, get the bread going. I had to, there was a bread machine. I had to make the bread in the morning so that you could get that fresh smell of bread. When it got through cooking, I had to um, slice it up, you know, put all the butter and stuff out. Um, I made coffee, decaf, regular. Um, so I, it was my job to get all of that stuff set up, right? And, you know, that just stuck with me. That sticks with you. First of all, it's a beautiful smell. It's so homey. It's so calming. It's relaxing. It's amazing. Um, when you walk through the front door and you just, you smelling many different things, but they're all amazing smells, you know, um, especially when you're at assistant living and sometimes you have people that sit right up at the front and, you know, they have accidents and things like that happen. Um, so when you, in your mind, you, you're thinking that, oh, it's going to be kind of funky coming in, but not, no, it wasn't the case. Um, so I always had to make sure everything was stocked, keep an eye on that front door so no one that, you know, normally would try to wander off. I had to pay attention to that, you know, get security, you know, get their, their um, um, uh, secret, not their manager, um, oh, what did you call them? 
Oh, I forgot what you called him. Anyway, they're caregivers. That's what it was. I had to get the caregivers on the phone. Hey, she running away. Gotta go get her. You know, um, if my phone was for uh, somebody to put my phone in hold. If they're taking too long, I would run and grab that person. If they were in the wheelchair, like we had one Mary, I'll never forget. Well, she was a whipper snapper. And I used to have to go get her all the time. Right? Um, she was in a wheelchair. Most of the time she sat up next to me and they would be like, No, you can't have her sit at the front that close because they all in your, you know, for hip, but they all in the front in any way. I'm not finna argue with this woman. You know, cause she'll she'll run you over quick. Now I did pay attention to her, my peripheral. Cause she will try to run you over. If you ain't paying attention, they will swat at you and everything else. But me and Mary had an understanding. Every now and then she'd get loop, a little loopy. They all did, you know, that's why they're there. Every now and then she get a little loopy and kind of forget, you know, what's going on, where she at, and we'll get a little mean. Um, and then that's when, you know, I would have to take her and push her back and lock that chair, like, get yourself on, you know, <laughs> before you mess up. Because um, she'll try to run you over. But she usually snaps out of it pretty quick, too. Um, but a couple of times I had to go and, you know, pull back in. Um, you know, I got to go clean that stuff quick. Because they would, you know, make spills and messes. And sometimes it would take housekeeping a little bit too long to get there. And the caregivers, a lot of them would do nothing. Like, they felt like it ain't my job, I ain't doing it. Especially when I got to clean their room and them. Why should I clean up a mess they make outside of the room? So if they spill coffee or something like that, I was only I learned to clean up coffee so quick, you never knew it was spilled. Ice cream, you know, I was just cleaning. You know, if I if I saw it, if they drop or broke something, I was on it. Because I didn't want anybody to get hurt, slip, fall, step in glass, anything, waiting um, for someone to come clean that area because you know, it's a system living there. Doing what they wanna do. You know, especially during the time when you, they get when you get to serve them um wine and they have movies. Like I really enjoy my job, I'm not gonna lie, I did. I enjoy my job. Um, I enjoy the people. Um, you just just wasn't getting paid enough for what we were doing. Um, I wasn't just a front desk concierge, I was security, slash security, slash housekeeper, slash this, slash that, so, you know, slash counselor, you know, um, so, uh, yeah, it, it was difficult at times, but I really did love my job, you know, um, so, it was just time to move on, because like I said, there was no... I, I wasn't going anywhere from like I, there was no way I was gonna go any higher any further I would have just been there doing the same thing forever now as a, a third shift you know a, a second job part-time job then that would have been perfect um, you know like if I could do that now uh, third sh actually I should try to see what uh, assisted living is close by and see if they have anything available uh, for an overnight shift I would do that Usually it's like four or five hours overnight. I'm up all the time anyway. Why not? You know, when I get off work at five, let's say I start a shift at nine, especially if it's close by, I can do that. I can even still donate. Um, I can do a shift from nine to 11, 12, one, two, nine to two, or even from nine to six or seven in the morning. I can do that. I don't start work at 8.30. You know, I could come in and take a quick nap and right back at it. And I could do that Monday through Friday only. That way, actually Monday through Thursday only. That way I have my Friday, Saturday, and Sunday free when I get off my regular job. I don't, I don't think about that, child. <laughs> I never thought about that. I'm sure I don't think about it. Look into it. Ooh, I got to get this weight off up in here, y'all. I feel like uh, um, I'm shaped real goofy looking like penguin or something. I look weird. Anyway, but I love me. Wouldn't have no other me. Because I love me. Me, 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 me. Anyway, talk to you guys later. My break is over. Yeah, I'm ready to rest of the day for last fast. Please, 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 please. Bye, well, guys. It's 12.46 p.m. I'm on my lunch break. I am every and all of tired. Do you hear me? My eyes are tired, my brain, my neck, everything hurt. <laughs> like, these phones are non-stop. Oh my God. So, I 
aside from my regular duties, I'm sorry, smacking y'all. I don't really have a taste for food, food, but I have a taste for something, so I'm snacking on some chips, okay? If I smack, I'm sorry, but aside from my regular duties, I also do web support. Damn near every call is web support. Apparently there's a, it's a system issue or something. Everybody has a web support call. I'm trying to do this, I can't get it. I'm trying to do this, it's not working. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Every call practically, it practically is a web support call. Y'all just they gotta go by. I'm so over it already. I'm so over it. Like. <laughs> oh, some said just get up. Get away from the desk. Sit and enjoy the breeze. Which has calmed down a lot a moment ago. You can hear the wind howling. Like it's blowing now. Oh, it feels so good. Hmm. I, I. Chop over this truck. Let's go up here. <laughs> this cat's so crazy, y'all. Um. He sees the vacuum cleaner right in the closet, and I guess the the cord is hanging out. So he be in there uh, touching the cord, y'all. Like he be in <laughs> he be going to town with that cord. <laughs> what the wind blowing? I'm so tired. I'm so ready for this part of the day to be over. Oh, that's right. Train Wednesday. We're supposed to have a meeting today, too. I wonder if it's still going to take place. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 1. It's to get us ready for the um, team huddle, the April team huddle, next week. <sighs> I don't feel like being bothered with that. However, the good part about that is... Um, at least I won't be having to answer the phones. I just realized I don't see the remote control to the TV. Oh, I see it. There you cat fur everywhere. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you long. I'm going to lay down here um, for about 10, 15 minutes and then get right back in there on the phones. Did you hear me talking about you, Chapo?
on my break. I did get my little check. I paid toward the rent. <laughs> it's zero. <laughs> mm. But it is what it is. Mm. I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I don't even know what to say. I'm so tired. I don't even know what to say. I am so. <laughs> I'm trying to blink and it's time to go. Alright? I'm just. Why didn't I take Wednesday off too? I don't even know why I didn't think of that. I mean, it's not like I really needed to take Wednesday off. I just honestly wasn't expecting it, you know, to be this this crazy busy. And then they, they just sent us an email that it's open enrollments um, for our insurance or whatever. Um, to, to review it even if there's no changes. I don't have any changes. Um, I do need to call them though to find out. Um, I think I have a card in my bag. But I'm definitely going to look into... Um, a CVS Minute Clinic and see if they take my card as well. They should. I work for CVS, so it should even be um, aside from the insurance itself discount because I work for them for Caremark. So let's see how that goes. So I can set up something. Um, I can kind of get like a little physical or checkup or something. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later because I find myself repeating myself. I'm just rambling. Mainly because I'm freaking just ready. Is that something to say? <laughs> I guess he said, nope. I had to. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great afternoon, okay? Be safe.